the interesting thing about me when I was in college, I was definitely a lot more, I would say focused on studies and just like hardcore. Yeah. I definitely didn't party as much <laughs> <laughs> since then that has changed. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dave Liu. I am a, I, I used to be a computer engineer, actually graduated from Michigan back in 2006. So it's been a little bit. I was born and raised in Ohio. Betrayed my state to go to Michigan. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yep. Um, but for me, I was always really passionate about more of like the innovation creativity side. And like, so that just led me to engineering in general because you're creating cool stuff every single day. My initial experiences with programming were literally on my little dinky TI-83 plus calculator <laughs> and programming little games during right. during my random courses in school. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to say, but um, doing that, I was like, oh, this is cool. It's actually creating something and then being able to share that with others and having them play those games and stuff too. How do you kind of continue that on? And that's when I just started playing around more with web design and going more in towards the, the programming side just on my own. So my original thought in going to Michigan was, hey, gonna go for my undergrad engineering degree and then after that go for MBA um, <laughs> that didn't happen <laughs> I was like oh, I'm probably good with enough of the, the, the four years of undergrad I'm just gonna go try to <laughs> go right into the workforce at that point did you ever take any entrepreneurship classes or kind of you know explore the other elements of Michigan while while in undergrad surprisingly no <laughs> uh, I, I definitely in retrospect would have wanted to like the, the Ross Business School is fantastic and I, I feel like I missed out a little bit by not going through all those yeah. but at the same time I also couldn't imagine going through those while still doing engineering at the same time so, <laughs> <laughs> and so you were a computer engineering undergrad and then bounced all over and now you're in the consulting industry correct yeah so I when I left GE and NBC Universal uh, originally, I had joined them as part of their rotational leadership program. So it was like a two-year rotational program. Every six months, you're moving into different roles. GE, NBC, they're large corporate entities, right? So uh, having worked in there for about five, six years, I realized like I, I constantly wanted to grow in my career, do more. Just being completely candid in the corporate environment, you sometimes run into situations where you can't continue moving up until the next person above you uh, moves into a new role. Or exactly, or I, I even remember my boss saying, like, yeah, basically until someone moves into a new role or passes away, <laughs> it'll be hard to move up the ranks, even though you're doing a great job. And right. so um, that's when I started looking at consulting. Usually, the interesting thing about consulting is you're getting brought in because that your client has problems that they need you to solve. At the end of the day, they want someone to come in that knows their stuff and can really get shit done, just to put it bluntly. <laughs> so <laughs> basically every single day you're facing some type of new challenge, whether it's a technology challenge or a process challenge or just organizational challenges and coming up with, I, I would say, leveraging a lot of the engineering uh, process and mindset to come up with a logical plan of how you would approach it, kind of your hypothesis, actually doing a proof of concept, rolling out a solution, uh, and then ultimately there's a lot of other pieces that come involved into that, but from a high level that's kind of the same flow. So one of the projects, for instance, that I've done in my consulting side that I never would have even imagined as an industry to get involved with was working with a deaf communications company. and wow. so. Literally, it was getting thrown into a project, having really very little knowledge around the whole uh, deaf community, and mm -hmm. basically having to learn a little bit right. of sign language and really just how they work day to day, yeah. uh, allowing the capability for a deaf person to communicate with a hearing person. So it's not like they can just pick up the phone and say, hey, how's it going? Yeah. There's a whole brokerage service in between that it's their whole job of doing ASL, and then being the voice for that person to someone on the other end, whether that's to calling your bank or calling up for a pizza. It's been definitely a highly collaborative space because I think at the end of the day, that's one of the key skill sets that can help folks in their career, right? It's, it's right. being able to communicate with others and understand issues. And, and with a Michigan engineering degree, the part that's really helped is having that balance of the super duper technical piece and being able to understand exactly how the nuts and bolts are being done versus mm -hmm. also being able to summarize that and communicate that in a easier 
easier to consume fashion for your business folks. So more functional versus technical blend. Um, how did your undergraduate experience, maybe some classes, kind of tie or prepare you or not prepare you um, for what you're currently doing or what you've done in the past? So I think the biggest thing in my mind from a Michigan engineering, a computer engineering degree, the, the thing that I gained the most was really that more logical approach towards problem solving. Right? So I wouldn't say it's tied into one particular class. Um, it was the culmination of everything that I learned there at Michigan. And so even though I'm not necessarily programming nowadays, it's still the same concepts of hearing a problem, understanding and getting to the root of a hypothesis, and actually coming up with different solutions to, to solve it, right? How, what advice would you give current students um, as far as like what to focus on while at school and how to really make the most of Michigan or you know, college in general? Uh, I think the, the number one thing is definitely focus on just learning as much as you can, right? Like as you're going through it, discrete math and all those things may not seem that interesting to you, but you never know when you'll actually run into them again. Coming out of high school, I definitely at least thought I had a plan of where my life would go. Right. <laughs> that goes out the window very quickly. The right. main thing is being able and being open to change, right? So seeing opportunities as they come up, adjusting and pivoting and just being open to learning new things that can take you pretty much anywhere, right? The ability to learn quickly, I think, is the biggest thing that you can get out of there. And, yeah. and that uh, ability to do that critical thinking and um, being able to build networks. Those, those are really the main things, I think, that come to mind. A lot of those friends I still keep in close contact with over here today. In fact, my college roommate uh, lives here in Dallas as well and is probably like 10 minutes away from where I live. So it's kind of crazy. <laughs> You never know. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. I'm sure you're busy, especially with everything going on. No problem. Um, but I hope you stay healthy and are enjoying each day. Um, but yeah, thanks so much. Yeah, happy to help. All right, bye. Thanks.